Shifting gears, that's what we're talking about in terms of brain training. So I often use an anecdote of a car, of a vehicle. And when our brain is regulated in what I call the green zone on a QEEG brain map, when our brain is in the optimal healthy mode, it can shift in and out of the five most important brain speeds or gears seamlessly so that you're able to feel calm, focused and alert, sleep and repeat like I talked about in the last lesson. So let me introduce these five speeds to you that we want to be able to use seamlessly shifting in and out all by themselves based on circadian rhythms. And this way it's like an automatic transmission in a car. What we don't want is for your brain to be stuck in a gear. And for many of the people that I work with, basically all of them, you are stuck in one of five gears. And I've been there, unfortunately, in just about all of them. So these five ways that your brain can get stuck, like a manual transmission, are anxiety, attention difficulties, autoimmune disorders, or autonomic nervous system dysfunction, arousal dysfunction, including sexual arousal dysfunction, and the fifth one is internet addictions. These five A's are ways that your brain gets stuck in an unhealthy, dysregulated brain pattern that I'm going to share with you in the breakout sessions. But right now I wanna share the five brain speeds so you know how your brain is supposed to work. There's a visual below that you can check this out. Okay, so let's start with the very slowest speed. The slowest brain speed or brain gear is called delta. Delta is what I refer to as extra slow speed. Essentially, it's sleep mode, fatigue, or tiredness. It also increases with inflammation. It can increase with overwhelm. When delta is high, your brain is sick and tired, and it's probably sick and tired of being sick and tired. So an increase in delta, delta, if it's dominating your brain pattern, you will feel tired, sluggish, and overwhelmed. So delta is extra slow speed, and it is designed to keep your brain asleep. So going back to that circadian rhythm, it's designed to catch hold of the sleep cycle and to show up in the middle of the night for the restorative sleep. You don't want large amounts of it being used in the day. Okay, so let's move on to the second speed. The second speed, a little bit faster, is called theta. Theta is slow speed. It's the speed that kicks in in the evening when you're feeling groggy and as you move towards bedtime and you start to feel sleepy and your brain is telling you time to get in bed so that delta can increase and you can get a beautiful night's sleep. Again, you don't want theta being used with high magnitude during the day because it will give you difficulties with focus and attention. You may feel tired and sluggish. It is fall asleep mode. Delta is stay asleep mode. Theta is fall asleep mode. So we do not want large amounts of theta being used in the day. So perhaps you feel that 3 p.m. slump. You probably feel that slump because theta is going up because your brain needs a break. I'm gonna teach you how to give your brain a break so theta can go down and you can have longevity of using a fresh brain across the day. Okay, moving on to alpha. Alpha is the next speed. I refer to it as medium speed. So it's the speed of calm. It, at its little bit faster bandwidths, it's the speed of calm focus, but I like to call it couch mode. So when you sit on the couch and you're doing nothing, that's when alpha can increase and you can get a refresher and feel good for a beat, for a minute, especially in a busy day when you take a break you allow the faster speeds to come down and alpha goes up and you get some moments of calm. What we don't want is for alpha to stick high and for your brain to be an artificial calm for too long. I also call alpha neutral. 
So alpha is a very neutral speed of shifting your brain into a coast mode. So that's good for a little while, but you don't want that to be your predominant speed that your brain is using. So if you struggle with internet addictions, arousal dysfunction, or autoimmune disorders, alpha is being used with too much magnitude. You will feel too much in couch mode. You might feel depressed. You feel stuck in neutral. So theta and delta are breaking mode. Alpha is neutral. I'm going to show you how to keep track of your alpha and make sure it's at healthy levels using the graphs in the brain training headband. So don't you worry, you stay with me month to month, you're gonna learn how to analyze these brain speeds for yourself. So let's go to the next fastest speed. On the brain training headband, there's one bandwidth that's referred to as beta. Beta is faster speed, it's gassing in the brain. When people work with me in professional neurofeedback, I can parse beta out into three internal bandwidths, low beta, mid beta, and high beta, which actually give me more information because in those three bandwidths, the way that I characterize it is that it's focus, hyperfocus, and more generalized anxiety. So I can see what the dominating bandwidth is in beta, but looking at it on the brain training headband, you'll be able to see if gassing or fast mode is being used at too high of levels. If it is, what it typically means is you'll have many thoughts, rumination, you may feel anxious, it might be difficult for you to relax. It's a brain that's using a lot of gassing. Beta is correlated with anxiety and stress. So we're gonna look for that in the upcoming lessons month to month. Okay. Let's go to the last speed that you will see on your brain training headband, which for most people, most of the time is a non-player. It's called gamma. Gamma is such a cool speed because it's very fast energy. I associate it with epiphany mode or really good idea mode. I'm gonna show you an example of it because I think it's mind boggling. Um, not too long ago, I had a really good idea and I'm like, I gotta see what my brain is doing with this really good idea. I put the headband on, gamma was dominating the brain pattern. And it just verified to me yet again, it's the speed of having a really good idea. But this is the tricky part of gamma. You can't really activate it until the rest of the speeds are being used in an organized and stable manner. That's what I consider to be my job. It's to help you organize your brain pattern and stack these speeds in the lines you're going to learn to read, stack them where they're supposed to be, and then stabilize them, not only across the graphs, but across your life. That's how you're going to achieve neurological regulation using the headband. That's how you're going to achieve self-regulation of your mind and your body. Now, what does self-regulation of your mind and your body mean? It means you can control your thoughts and your actions. And it means they flow really well based on that circadian rhythm clock. You sleep like a baby. You feel calm and focused throughout the day. You don't have to go towards addictive behaviors or substances anymore to put out the fire in your brain. Instead, there is no fire. You feel great. So now that you know what the five brain speeds are, we're gonna be able to analyze them together. Let me just give you one recap. Okay, delta is the very slowest speed. It is the speed of stay asleep mode. It is breaking in the brain. You have to put the brakes on to stay asleep. A little bit faster than theta, than delta, excuse me, is theta. Theta is fall asleep mode. It's still considered breaking in the brain, but it's a little bit faster. It's still a slow speed. It is the biomarker for ADHD, and if it's being used at very high levels, it's associated with tension and focus difficulties. It's designed based on circadian rhythms to kick in when it's time to fall asleep. A little bit faster than theta, medium speed alpha, gives you the feelings of calm. It's couch mode, it's take a break mode, it's neutral. 
We want you to be able to get there sometimes. We don't want you to be stuck there because if you are, if you're in artificial neutral, especially from internet addictions, which I've seen thousands of brain maps of internet addictions, I know for sure it involves too high of alpha, where you're stuck in artificial neutral, you feel unmotivated, you might feel depressed, you might feel like you have no joy from the world and you're pushed back into behaviors that make you feel good or not feel bad. It's also associated with autonomic nervous system dysfunction and autoimmune disorders that have different mechanisms that caused it. But long story short, you don't wanna be stuck in artificial neutral. You wanna be able to get there when you wanna get there and not stay there if you don't want to. Going a little bit faster is a bandwidth called beta. Beta is gassing in the brain. It helps you to focus, it helps you to think, but if it's being used too much, it creates overthinking, stress, and anxiety. The very fastest speed is called gamma. Likely, it will always be at the bottom of your graph, but if you have a really great idea, once you've regulated this pattern or in moments of regulation, your gamma will activate itself and you'll have epiphanies or you'll feel really calm and you'll have an amazing thought. That is what I want for you. So those are our five main brain speeds. I'm gonna teach you how to look at them in the graphs on the brain training headband so you know where your brain is at any given moment and you learn how to keep the pattern organized across the page, stabilized across the reports and organized and stabilized from report to report. That way you have neurological regulation that equals self-regulation of your mind and your body through brain training. All right, I'll see you in the next lesson.